Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today I'm so excited because I have some of the new Chanel. These are the Rouge Allure Lip Lacks and I've been so excited about these. So I have four different shades and I thought what we would do today is learn a little bit more about the formula of these lip lacks as well as do a little try on and swatches. So if you are interested in learning a little bit more about the new launch from Chanel, the Rouge Allure Lip Lacks, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first of all, I've been so excited about this launch because I am someone, of course I love lipstick and such, but I really love the idea of a liquid lipstick for the longevity. I'm not someone who tends to touch up throughout the day, but I like a shiny finish. So that is hard to find. And I have to tell you, Chanel has done an amazing job with this new formula. So these new Allure lacs are infused with two different polymers. So one's gonna give you that kind of intense kind of liquid lipstick stain on your lips, but then they have been able to create something that's gonna give you some ultra satin shine. So these, little lip lacks say that it lasts up for 12 hours and that there's eight hours of comfort wear. Now I will tell you, I have been wearing these. They are super comfortable. To me, this is of a hybrid between a liquid lip and a lip gloss and they just are amazing and feel great on the lips. Super hydrating and they came out with a bunch of beautiful colors. Now I picked up four of them but let's take a look and I want to just show you the packaging. So it kind of comes like in a little bit of a lip gloss kind of packaging. I love the little gold CC on the top here and they're just really a great Great little applicator here. So if you can see this kind of that doe foot applicator, but definitely is easy to put on the lips. And I've also found that it works great. Like the little tip of this can kind of create a little bit of a lip liner effect. So I'm going to first swatch these on my hands and then we'll put these on my lips as well. So I have all four shades on my hand here. 63 is ultimate. 64 is exigence, 66 right here is permanent, and then we've got 78 over here with, which is tenacious. So I tried to get a little mix here. This is kind of like your day-to-day -day shades. One is going to be a little bit rosier. One's going to have a little bit of that kind of nude kind of peach color here. Permanent, we're getting into a kind of deeper, pretty berry shade. And then I've been into these raspberry shades over here. And then this is tenacious. So on my hand, you guys, if the swatch is not perfect, you're going to see they are fantastic on the lip. But yes, it's sort of a liquidy lipstick and a gloss, just a super beautiful formula. Okay, pulled you in a little bit closer and I'm going to go kind of from lightest to darker. We're going to start with number 63 and this is Ultimate. This is 63 in the shade Ultimate. Really love this shade. This is like basically everyday shade. It's gonna give me my lips but better kind of effect. And as you can see, a little bit of shine on there, kind of a satin finish, but you also get that pigmentation. So everyday kind of perfect shade here in 63. Next is 64. This is gonna be a little bit more in that pink side. And this is the shade 64. Next is in the shade Permanent. This has become a fast favorite of mine.
and this is the shade Permanent. Then we have shade 78, and this is Tenacious. And then this is shade 78 in Tenacious. So the cost of these new Rouge Allure Lip Lacks is $40. Now I will say just from the little amount that I've been playing with them, a little goes a long way. So this is something that I find uh, that you wouldn't have to be reapplying. Um, I feel like you get a decent amount in this container because again, one swipe is all you're gonna need in order to kind of give you that full kind of opaque kind of look if that is what you're wanting for your lips. You can also kind of dab these on and create sort of a beautiful popsicle stain on your lips and that's kind of the way that I've been preferring wearing these. Now from what I have been told, Basically, this new product is kind of the hybrid product of these La Rouge Duo Ultra Tenues, which I love these. These are a liquid lipstick that I actually enjoy. One side has the actual liquid lipstick and then the other has the beautiful gloss. Now, if you are looking for something like super long wearing that is going to last all day, I always tell people to seek out these La Rouge Duo Ultra Tenues because they really are super long lasting and you can eat through them and you can then just kind of reapply the gloss part of it throughout the day. Now, the reason I really love this new Rouge Allure Lip Black is that I'm getting a bit of a stain on my lips, so I'm getting the effect of that liquid lipstick, but these do not feel kind of dry. I don't have to add gloss on top. I'm finding that it's just more of like a satin finish with a slight gloss on there. They're super comfortable. Um, they don't feel drying. So one thing when I do wear these, the liquid lipstick part of it will kind of feel like like it'll feel a little bit drying on the lips, but then once you apply the gloss, you're totally fine. But these are just fantastic for someone like myself who isn't going to totally reapply throughout the day that likes a little bit glossier of a look on the lips, but also loves having that kind of stain. So you guys, I have been testing these out and wearing them. And yes, if you're going to eat some sort of like greasy salad or you know salad with a lot of dressing on it um anything like that when you're eating of course it's going to take some of your lipstick off but if you are just someone who's going to be kind of you know maybe drinking a little bit of something eating in a kind of non-greasy matter these really do provide you with that kind of long wear kind of lipstick so i have been super thrilled with these so as far as color tones my ultimate favorite has probably got to be number 63 which is ultimate kind of your perfect pinky beige nude everyday color but kind of gives your lips uh, but kind of gives me a my lips but better look so I absolutely love number 60 three. Then I'm also kind of surprised at how much I love this number 78, which is tenacious. This is more of kind of a raspberry kind of red, kind of a fun departure, but it also just kind of gives me a stain on the lips. Now, but one thing I want to tell you is that you don't have to make it as opaque as I did. I just wanted to show you that it is promising that you will get color with one swipe and you really do. The way I have been wearing these bolder kind of of colors which I just love is I've just literally been dabbing on a little bit on my lips taking my kind of pinky here dabbing them in and it gives such a really nice stain kind of like a popsicle stain on the lips I really love that kind of look where it's just kind of a slight bit of color not too over the top and I just think they look really pretty that way so i so even with this shade, I'll just take a little bit of a darker one, kind of take my finger and kind of pat that in to my lips. And then, and then it's going to just give me a pretty stain on my lips for the rest of the day. So 
That is what I have picked up so far. As usual, I'd love to know what colors you picked up. Definitely having fun with more color already this year. I said for 2021 that I was going to be branching out. I feel like I've been doing that. So of course, I love my day-to-day -day colors that are just easy to wear, but really enjoying this new formula. I would definitely even pick up other colors. I do think these are fantastic for someone who really needs that long wear kind of liquid lipstick. These are still going to be amazing, but if you are someone who wants something a little longer wearing, but with a bit more of a shine on the lips, I really would highly encourage you to take a peek at these new Chanel Allure Lax. So guys, this is kind of a short and sweet video for you today. I'm hoping that everybody's staying sane as we're leading up to the holidays, but I've got some more fun videos coming up. A couple things just showed up that I'm dying to show you, but we'll leave that for a haul. I'll just give you a quick little peek. Ooh, I got the little Byredo corporate colors. I've got a new foundation from Monica Blunder and then I have uh, and then two other foundations just showed up. So we are gonna be having some fun moving forward, but I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.